Monthly TV Plus. Nigeria's ex international Patrick Olua Shegun Odegbami has lost his son, Olua Gbemini. The 1918 African Cup of Nations winner in the Den Green Eagles revealed this in a tribute he penned in his memory. Odegbami, popularly known in his playing days as Mathematical Shegun Odegbami, wrote, Olua Gbemini, Omo Odegbami, the simple pilgrim, returns home. It is completely impossible to think that I'm writing about Olua Gbemini, Omo Odegbami, in the past tense. One day to Good Friday, his message woke me up while I was in Accra, Ghana. He wanted my summary of the synopsis of the documentary project we were working on. I told him not to wait for me but to go ahead and apply his abundant creativity to the project. I was not exaggerating. Gbemi was an unknown and unappreciated G. He was a highly gifted, multi-talented young man. His writing skills, poetic literature in the music lyrics, rapping, elocution when he reads and unique culinary skills were all in this laid-back young man whose life is simple, spartan, and secluded with no intention whatsoever to disturb the equilibrium of the chaotic world around him. Four hours after our exchange, I received the force of endless phone calls that eventful day last Thursday. Bemi is not feeling well. Bemi has been taken to a hospital. The hospital has referred Bemi to another hospital. I direct that he should be taken to a specialist hospital. His situation is critical. The hospital works on him for hours. Twelve hours after our first communication and exactly five minutes past midnight at the birth of Good Friday, the doctors called for me and on tenth time that day to break my heart with the news that haunts me till now, Bemi has passed on. Would it have happened if I had not traveled? Would I have handled the situation better? It was a shocking, devastating, painful and incomprehensive news. Good people should not die. Why should this young man at the start of a new exciting chapter of his life die so suddenly? Except, of course, that it is part of a divine plot that the spirit catches up with that of the dead on Good Friday. His sins and transgression wiped away on a cross of Calvary to grace at Easter. His soul must be resting peacefully now with the creator of the universe. Fleet TV Plus Fleet TV Plus